Hello, my name is David Attenborough, and I welcome you to this video presentation of Team 3D's Continuous Fibre 3D Printer for this wonderful 2023 Richard J. Fassenmeyer Engineering Design Conference. Team 3D was tasked with designing and building a 3D printer capable of printing a continuous carbon fibre material that is combined with a thermoset resin. Most 3D printers you may be familiar with commonly use a thermoplastic material rather than a thermoset. Thermoset materials have different properties that make them more desirable than thermoplastics for certain applications. Some of these more desirable properties include better resistance to heat, corrosion and creep, as well as an excellent strength to weight ratio. And so, when you combine a thermoset with another strong lightweight material such as carbon fibre, you get a composite with outstanding properties. The process that the printer being designed in this project will perform can be summarised by this functional model. The process starts with combining the carbon fibre with the thermoset resin. This done by pulling the carbon fibre through a set of rollers submerged in a resin bath. The resin is heated by a water tank to around 50 degrees Celsius to reduce its viscosity. Once the coated fibre leaves the bath, it exits through a nozzle that removes excess resin from the fibre. The coated fibre continues its path being pulled by an extruder. The extruder uses a motor and a set of wheels to grip the fibre and move it to where it needs to go. The wheels on the extruder were redesigned and machined so that the fibre is being pulled with enough tension but not fraying due to too much friction. The coated fibre then enters the printer enclosure that is heated by ceramic radiation heaters to about 200 degrees Celsius. The enclosure houses multiple components, most notably the XYZ motion system. The XYZ motion features an HBOT, Core XY design, as well as a two-screw, four-slider Z motion apparatus. This allows the printer to move precisely in each dimension. Attached to this motion system is the print column. The print column consists of an extruder, heater, cutting mechanism and a roller. The function of the roller is to keep tension in the fiber as it is being laid onto the print bed so that straight, even lines can be printed. The roller presses the fiber down onto a print bed designed specifically for this printer. The print bed is made up of an aluminum bed plate, a silicone heating pad and a tempered glass build plate. Underneath the bed plate, there are four screws with precise levelling knobs so that the bed can be perfectly level, which is very important for a 3D printer. Once the fibre is laid on the print bed, it partially cures as a result of the intense local heat from the ceramic heaters as well as the silicone heating pad. This partial cure allows the resin to harden so that a solid 3D part can be created layer by layer. And this concludes Team 3D's video presentation of the Continuous Fibre 3D Printer. Thank you for watching.